welcome back to my channel uh, so today i am going to tell you about five books that uh, totally changed my life and these are my five favorite books these are my go to books the books that i read when i'm feeling sad or low and i you know i don't feel good about myself and these books can instantly give me a totally new perspective towards any situation that i'm going through so uh, yeah if you like this video do not forget to like share and comment and subscribe to my channel if uh, if you enjoy and uh, do let me know if you've read any of these books so that i can know what you think about it and uh, yeah so let's begin okay so book number 1 is uh, life is what you make it by preeti shanoi so she's an indian author uh this book was first introduced to me by one of my friends in school around 4 years ago which is the first time i read it um so i remember the first time i read it i just could not stop thinking about it it is just so beautiful this book uh it got me thinking about deep questions like a question that i never thought about before like you know what people go through on a daily basis people especially people struggling with mental disorders so this was the book that first got me introduced to the concept of mental disorders before i read this book i had like vague ideas and i didn't have any concrete knowledge about this and after i read this book i started doing more research regarding mental disorders and i found out so much more so uh, in this book there's this girl who has faced a lot of trauma in her past and this and these traumatic incidences haunt her for a really long time and these lead her uh, into this dis into this disorder called bipolar disorder so for those of you who don't know bipolar disorder is a mental illness in which people have a uh, cyclic episodes of high energy and low energy so they have a high episode and a low episode so during the high episode they'll be extremely energetic and uh, very happy and get insane amounts of work done stuff like that and when they are going through the low episode they'll be depressed and they'll be contemplating about death and suicide and stuff like that so uh, this when i read this book was the first time i came to know about this disorder and uh, it really got me thinking what i mean people with mental illnesses go through so much on a daily basis and yet they carry on with their jobs they carry on with their uh, regular life as if nothing goes on as as if nothing is really affecting them but inwardly they're struggling so much so this girl who uh, goes through this illness she uh, eventually gets out of it but that's only because she gets really she gets a lot of support from her friends family and her psychiatrist so that this book just taught me to be kind to people you know uh, be kind be thoughtful this book it taught me one important lesson that is to never give up no matter what i'm going to which is what this girl did she went through such a big problem and she still got through it yeah i would definitely definitely recommend this book to anyone who is going through certain problems and doesn't know how to face them doesn't have the energy or the strength the will power to get through them okay book number 2 is how to be ferociously happy and other essays by dushka zapata so i don't know if i'm saying it right i'm so sorry but uh, i love this book to its very core it is a very self reflecting book and i don't normally read a lot of self help books but out of the ones that i have read this one is definitely my favorite okay so it has like short essays and um, like one page or two page essays so if you're a person who hates reading for a long time or who doesn't like reading the same story for a long time um, or who hates reading in general but wants to read this book would be perfect for you i'm telling you uh, this book has like really short essays which you will find really relatable uh, so uh, about your daily life and about things that you may be going through in your life that you don't really notice but it does happen but you don't know how to get out of it so this book will offer a really new perspective about that and it will help you a lot it helped me a lot and i would definitely recommend this book to you okay book number 3 is my absolute favorite and it is How to be a boss by Lily Singh, aka Superwoman. She's one of my favorite YouTubers, and I absolutely love her videos. And I love this book. And uh, this book is beautiful in the sense that it teaches you to be yourself, unapologetically yourself, in the words of Superwoman, and uh, not care about what the others think about you, and just you know be you and do what you do, do it in the best way you can. and uh, don't let you know obstacles block your path just break them off and do what you can 
and this book is beautiful i mean i love superwoman i love her personality and a lot of people even people i know have a lot of criticism about her but i don't care i i just love her personality and i i feel as if i have come a lot closer to knowing her after reading this book and it has a lot of important life lessons which i definitely think a lot more of us should know especially in today's world and age and i would 100% 110% recommend this book to you all and uh, superwoman if you're watching this i totally love you you are amazing and you're such an inspiration and yeah and if you have not watched her videos guys go check out her video she's amazing book number 4 is chicken soup for the soul so uh it's a series of books basically chicken soup for the soul but uh this is one of my favorites out of the ones that i have read and um again it's kind of self reflecting self help kind of book but uh it's it's in the form of stories which is different from the book uh, written by dushka zapata the one how to be ferociously happy and other essays so uh, that is different from this book in this way uh, so this is in the form of stories and that's in the form of basically essays so uh, it has a lot of stories about love friendship how to be better at life how to be uh, happier and this book it honestly it made me cry the first time i read it it has a lot of stories which will really inspire you which will really move you and uh, yeah if again you're a person who do, who doesn't like to read a lot this book is for you Okay, book number five, the last one is the Namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri. So she is an Indian author again. Uh, this book, I really like this book. Uh, it's uh, it focuses more on one's true identity and what really matters in life. Um, so there's this boy who really hates his name. So he tends to associate his name to his personality, uh, his true inner self. which is what we also tend to do in our lives okay uh, so we often associate physical attributes for example to our personality and that is not what actually matters and that is what this book teaches us that you know what what actually matters is who you actually are inside and not the face that you show outside not the superficial aspects of your life that is not what represents you as a person so uh, maybe that's what you think that the world perceives you to be but not everyone does that okay um at least not the people who matter they don't do that uh okay so this book also it talks a lot about family and how family is really important this book it really highlights the um, problems that an immigrant goes through when he moves through to a new place uh, this book also talks about the concept of arranged marriages in india and yeah it talks about a lot of important issues which uh, really need to be addressed and which need to be talked about more to make it easier uh, okay so that was it you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you will read at least a few of these books and trust me they will help a lot they will help you in transforming yourself a lot and they did that for me they uh, these books are the reason i am who i am today and i am to be grateful to all these authors for writing these books and changing my life and giving me a really new outlook towards everything uh so yeah if you enjoyed this video do not forget to like share and leave a comment tell me about any other books that you would want me to read perhaps and if you have read these books and what you thought about it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys and do share this video with your friends and family and whoever loves to read or whoever doesn't love to read so yeah i will see you later stay tuned for more content i will be coming out with more videos really soon so see you bye